Hello friends, how are you doing today? In this video, we are going to talk about multi-agent system. In the last video, we talked about A agent and how A agent works and what are all the benefits of going A agent. And in 2025, the A agent is the topic and uh, most of the organizations are going to implement A agent for their uh, business uh, objectives and business purposes, right? So in this video, we are going to talk about multi-agent system or MAS. What exactly multi-agent system? So when it comes to uh, multi-agent system as the name implies it's very simple to understand if there are multiple agents working for your organization to help you out to achieve a business use case that is called a multi-agent system so when you build one agent for solving one particular business problem that is going to be working as siloed agent to solve one particular problem so in the last video i explained with an example of a real estate agent or financial advisor or the education counselor for your kid, right? So these are all the siloed agent. They work for one specific uh, business task. But multi-agent, as the name implies, the multi-agent um, system will have multiple AI agents or multiple LLM agents, comprising of a group of agents, and that will collaborate each other and complete a business task for your organization. Let's say um, you are a retailer com retail company and you wanted to form a customer satisfaction department. So what exactly you will do? You first start with recruiting the people for each department, right? For example, the customer representative who talks to the customer and get the initial detail from the customer. So that group you will form. And after that, you form another group for managing the billing and you may form another group of people for managing the order and you may form another group to get the customer inside details so this is how you form the physical uh, customer satisfaction organization in your company if you are a retail company or if you are a finance company or insurance company whatever may be the company you form a group of people who act or work with the customer to solve the customer's problem so this is how the customer satisfaction organization is set up in an enterprise. So this is physical way. And when it comes to the agentic way, what you are going to do, you are going to uh, work with a agent to fulfill all these objectives that you uh, formed with the help of the human in your organization. So for that, there are certain uh, frameworks and tools available. If you go and uh, search about IBM B agentic framework, IBM B E E uh, agentic framework, you will get to know about how to build this A agent, how to build the agentic framework, how to build multi agent system for your organization to set up this um, customer satisfaction organization for your enterprise. And also, there is um, another um, technology called QA. QA is now IBM company, then you can go and explore how we can form the A agentic framework and set up in your organization to successfully achieve this customer satisfaction organization without any human inter interventions. So this is very fantastic uh, framework. I have given the link in the description below. You can go and play around. There are specific um, built-in tools available, so you can just download that uh, framework from the GitHub as a template and start building the AI agent very simple way. You don't need to spend too much time on what to do, how to start with the um, AI agent framework building. You don't need to worry about all these things. The steps are given in detailed way in IBM uh, B agenting framework and QAI. Uh, you can go and explore. And also QAI is providing a certification. You can go and complete the certification that will also be helpful for to know more about this multi-agent system and um, it will be helpful for your uh, career and also for your organization to set up this type of uh, multi-agent system and complete uh, the project for you. And coming back to how to build this uh, multi-agent, right? So we get, got to know like uh, how the customer satisfaction organization is set up for your company and how you recruit the people and how you deploy those people to help your organization that's physical way right similarly when it comes to building the multi-agent system what you would be doing you would be building agent for each organization for example if you are um, setting up this customer satisfaction organization for your company what you would be doing 
you will be recruiting the people for the customer representative right so you must be building first agent as a customer representative agent that is nothing but your inquiry agent and whatever the name you want to call it as you just call it out and second agent is the um, self service agent suppose if the customer wanted to talk to the chatbot and get to know about the customers uh, the details and also product details service details of your organization you can build a um, self service agent and uh, another agent what you would be building sentiment analysis agent so normally when it comes to the customer satisfaction your customer will be coming to you and uh, talking to you um, uh, as a customer star representative you would be analyzing what tone they are using to talk right if they are coming up with a frustration mode and how you compromise the customer so those all human related activities can be achieved with the help of the a agent called sentiment analysis agent so you would be building the sentiment analysis agent um and also like if the billing issue is coming and if your uh, customer uh, representative is receiving the billing uh, issue with from your customer and you can redirect that um, query to the billing department right similarly in agenting world what you would be doing you would be building um, billing agent to handle all the billing related queries and also if your customer is coming up with order delay or order um, issue you would be redirecting the uh, query to order management department right so you would be building a similar order management a agent so if you take the customer satisfaction organization now you have uh, come up with different agents right first is inquiry agent and second one is self service agent and third one is uh, um, sentiment analysis agent and fourth one is uh, order management agent and sixth one is um, uh, billing management agent and finally you can create a feedback loop agent where all these process will be completed and the customer would like to give the feedback to your organization the feedback loop agent will talk to the customer and get all the feedback about all this process and document it and store it in your organization this way your organization will be very very powerful and if efficient and you can save a lot of money uh, because um, you avoid complete uh, hassle of uh, handling the customer satisfaction and customer problem uh, with the help of your people now it will be taken care of by the agentic framework especially the multi agentic framework okay so let's take one typical uh, scenario in retail company and see how this will be explaining you to adopt the mass or multi agent uh, system okay let's say like you are a retail company and you are selling the product to the customer and the customer is receiving the uh, order details once after placing the order online right so let's take this scenario the customer placed an order and um, checking the order status in the portal and customer sees that the order is getting delayed because of the large uh, volume and during the holidays time your um, uh, system may not be able to handle high volume transaction and you would be um, ending up with a delay in sending the order to the customer so the customer looked at the order in the portal and the customer um, got to know that the order is getting delayed and it will be reaching the customer after 2 or 3 days uh, in compared to the actual day so what exactly customer does customer logs into your portal and you will be giving the opportunity to um, talk to the system with a chatbot application and that is your inquiry agent wherein the customer inputs the order customer uh, talks about uh, the details about the order and asks the question like why this order is getting del delayed what would be the reason when i would be getting order uh, to my home so all those um, details will be given to this inquiry agent first and the inquiry agent will receive all these details and um, analyze the details and pass it on to the sentiment analysis agent why it is passing to sentiment analysis agent because if the customer is coming up with a frustration uh, frustration of like uh, the order is getting delayed and uh, you must be handling the frustration of the customer and you must satisfy the customer on the spot right so the inquiry agent will pass the details about the sentiment analysis of this particular customer stone and the sentiment analysis agent will receive that text and 
it will analyze sentimental uh, details about uh, how the customer is talking how the customer is expressing his concern and uh, once uh, if that uh, sentiment analysis agent is analyzing the tone and the words used in the chat um, the sentiment analysis agent will pass this to the human collaborator agent the human collaborator agent is one that has the ability to analyze the details what the customer posted in the chat and it will talk to the actual human or live human uh, to handle this issue because not all the issues will be solved with the help of this agentic system or multi agent system that is completely impossible so we need human intervention at one stage so in this scenario if the customer is expressing a lot of concerns and uh, if he is worrying too much about uh, the order getting delayed you must be uh, involving the customer or talking to the customer with live agent or actual human so yes the human can understand the emotions and uh, apply the emotion intelligence to help the customer out so this is the purpose of sentiment analysis agent and her sentiment analysis agent will pass it to the human collaborator agent and human collaborator agent will pass the information to the actual human so the actual human can talk to the customer and understand the customer's concern and address it properly and um, in this case since the order is delayed and customer wanted to get to know about how the order is going to be delivered and uh, once after passing this to the human collaborator agent he will talk to the customer and uh, solve the problem suppose if the customer is not worrying too much about the order but he wanted to know about what is the reason behind the delay you must be passing that information to the um, billing department to see if there are any billing issues right billing address is changed or the delivery address is changed or all those stuff so the inquiry agent will pass the information to billing um, agent system and billing agent uh, will analyze all the details about what is wrong or is there any issue with the delivery or is there any with the uh, billing details it will uh, check that and then pass the information to uh, the customer insight uh, agent the customer insight agent will have the ability to check whether the customer has any issue uh, in the past or the customer had any um, problem with this uh, organization in the past so it will go and analyze how the customer uh, is uh, having relationship with this particular organization and is there any problem with the uh, um, customer's uh, payment system or all, the, all those stuff will be analyzed with the help of customer insight agent and um, once after analyzing all these things with the help of these agents what we built um, the final agent will be the feedback loop agent so once this problem is resolved the feedback loop agent will get to know about all the uh, processes involved in this uh, customer order delay issue and it will try to get the complete feedback from the customer to improve the system in the future so this is how the multi agent system works and you built these agents uh, separate small small agents like inquiry agent uh, self service agent sentiment analysis agent and a billing agent order management agent customer insight agent feedback loop agent all these small agents you built with the help of the uh, IBM B framework or QA framework and these agents are in the system that is called multi agent system and how these agents are coordinating and collaborating with each other and you must note that each agent when you build it will have the specific task to achieve so it will come with the, when you build the system agent system or agent the task will be associated with the each agent to, uh, to execute so what are all those tasks that we talked about it right in terms of uh, handling the customer inquiry and in terms of analyzing the customer tone and in terms of analyzing the order details and uh, these tasks uh, may be the billing related task and order management related tasks so all those tasks are associated with these agents and when it comes to collaborating with all these agents you must have a collaborator or delegator uh, to manage all these individual siloed agents so that particular uh, collaborator is called the crew um, or delegator in terms of uh, multi management or multi agent system so this particular crew or delegator will 
delegate the tasks and delegate the uh, actions to these particular agents and those particular agents will pass the information to each other based on the sequence of information in this case the order delay example we first received um, the customer request with the help of this inquiry agent and the inquiry agent analyzed the text and passed the uh, next step to sentiment analysis agent right so this passing will be collaborated with the help of this crew or multi agent system delegator so this is how the multi agent system works uh, so suppose if you are an organization and you wanted to build this multi agent system you can either um, build with your uh, own model or you can rely on the powerful models created by the organizations like ibm um, if you go and explore ibm's granite model is very powerful model for building this uh, multi agent system and also llama model is one of the key models for building this multi agent system and some other models are uh, getting explored and uh, you would be getting to know about more models to build this multi agent system so when it comes to adopting this multi agent it's not going to be easy and uh, as an organization it's not um, uh, a, a short term project you would be doing this it involves a lot of steps and processes and you must first identify the right business use case and then once after identifying the right business use case you must identify what are all the agentic component where we can replace the human with the help of agentic framework and where we can help the organizations to efficiently process the details with the help of agentic system and then pick the framework to build the agent models and once after picking the framework and you will create the models and you create the agent framework and then you, you create the agent um, multi agent system and uh, use the right crew to delegate and coordinate and uh, you set up this entire multi agent system for your organization um so i have provided the link below to explore all these things and uh, when it comes to the benefits of uh, implementing the multi agent system uh, multi agent systems are helpful for our organization who wanted to save a lot of money in terms of uh, the operational cost and uh, efficiency in handling the customer request and if you want to improve your um, organization's capability to handle customer request so these are all the uh, benefits of having multi agent system and also when it comes to adopting the multi agent system your organization will get matured enough to um, implement this multi agent system and also you can enable your um, employees with the help of multi agent system it's not going to replace you know, all the employees in your organization you must uh, keep this in mind it will enable and make your employees powerful and make your employees handling the right task for your organization rather than um, spending too much time on handling the customer requests so this is one example and you can see uh, little different examples in implementing the multi agent system for an organization uh, there are plenty of use cases and if you are a healthcare company you will have different uh, areas to implement multi agent system and if you are a, a financial organization you can uh, look at the business use cases that are required for implementing the multi agent system and if you are um, the insurance company you will have to explore what areas you can bring in this multi agent system to help your customers so i hope uh, this video is helpful to know about multi agent system and how this multi agent system architecture works and what are all the frameworks that you can use to explore or implement this multi agent system for your organization and i have given this uh, enterprise level example of uh, customer satisfaction and also order delay is one of the scenarios that we took and uh, uh, discussed uh, discussed here and if you like this video give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it and uh, we will be exploring lot more about multi agent system in the upcoming videos and if you have not subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe and we will discuss more take care bye